Hey guys, it's Lego Boise 3 Today we're going to be solving this Rubik's Cube in augmented reality. Now today we're going to be trying out a little product that was sent to me by a company called Merge. Now this may not seem like it has much to do with cubing, but trust me, we'll get there in a second. Anyway, this is called the Merge Cube, and basically it's from a company that makes AR and VR products. So AR means augmented reality, so basically what you should be able to do is hold this physical cube up to your phone's camera, and then in the screen of your phone, it'll turn into a different object. So instead of seeing the actual physical cube, it'll turn into something like a Rubik's Cube. Now this is an actual product that you can go out there and buy today. I'll put a link down in the description down below to their website where you can get details like where to buy one of them. But basically in the box, you get things like a sticker, some instructions, and of course the cube itself. It's kind of like this foam cube, a little bit flexible. But when you pair it with a smartphone, it can become a huge variety of different things, even a Rubik's Cube. So let me go get the camera set up and I'll show you. All right, so I've got the Merge Cube. I've got the Rubik's Cube app for it opened on my phone here. So let's click on phone mode right here. You can turn the phone around. And now if we move this into the view of the camera, it turns into a Rubik's Cube. And soon enough, it'll scramble itself up. There we go. And then we will be able to solve it by touching on the screen like this. All right, so let's just start looking around the cube here. So it looks like we have the white set over here. So we can go ahead and start building our cross, turning that side, that side. So we got that green piece into place. Now we have that red piece in place. Looks like there's the orange one. And then the blue one, we just need to do a double turn like this. And there we go. Now we have the cross. All right, so it looks like this red and blue pair over here should be pretty easy to solve. So let's just do that. Do a double turn on top and back down like that. Now we can do a U move and move it into place. Press that one, that one, and we can see right there in the back. Here we go, and now the pair is right into place right there. Now it looks like this green and orange one is a pretty easy pair. So we can go ahead and solve this one with a couple turns. Bring it over to the side here, and then right on in, just like that. And then it looks like we can make this green and red pair over here pretty easily too. So just pair them up like that. And then a little F2L trick is you can just turn the side like that, turn this side like this, then insert it like that, bring that side back down and that side back up, and now the pair is inserted into the back. Now we just have one more F2L pair, which looks like it's just an easy insert. So if we can turn the side the right way, that one, that one over there, and now back down. Now it looks like we have all of F2L complete, and we can just do the last layer. So while I'm doing the last layer here, I just want to mention a few more quick things. So although you can actually go out and buy this cube today, the Rubik's Cube app that I'm using for it is actually a pre-release version, but it should be released within the next week or so. So this is kind of like a sneak peek for one of the many apps that's going to be available on the Merge Cube very soon. So if you want to go ahead and buy one because you want to use this app or any of the other apps, or if you want to go ahead and explore those apps and figure out what is available, go ahead and click the link down in the description down below and all the details will be down there. And there we go, it's now solved. It says, congrats, 203 turns. I messed up a few times and had to cut, but it took 11 minutes. So that's pretty much it for this mode of the app, but there's actually another mode of the app that's not just augmented reality, it also uses virtual reality. And so that means you need some sort of goggles, which is what they sent me over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them out. All right, so let's go ahead and just try this out real quick. So I think we need to punch out this opening for the camera. We have our phone here, make sure it's in the right mode. Stick it into the opening, just like that. Now we can stick this on our head, make sure it's adjusted correctly. And now we can pick up the merge cube in front of us and you get a little bit of a view here of kind of what it looks like for me. So I believe we have buttons up on the top here so we can like click a button to make one of the faces turn. Yep, just like it was with the normal version. You can also just set this down and kind of look around which looks really cool, a little bit weird. But yeah, here we go, the merge cube in VR. Go ahead and turn these sides around. Yeah, that is really cool, actually. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have today for the Merge Cube. So if you're into augmented reality, or of course, virtual reality on your phone, and of course, if you like cubing, then I definitely would recommend at least checking this out. Go check out their website down below. It's pretty cool. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!